Welcome to this video from revisionmaths.com for Revision World TV, looking at binomial distribution. Binomial distribution probability is only possible if there are two outcomes. For example, if you toss a coin, you can only get a head or a tail. So if you toss the coin five times, you could use binomial distribution to solve the probability of how many times you would get a head or a tail. Now let's take this example. A horse racing meeting was held in five races on a given day, and each race had four horses competing. What is the probability that a spectator chose the winner for four out of the five races? In this scenario, we are only looking at two possible outcomes. The spectator gets the winner correct, or the spectator gets the winner incorrect. So now let's break down the question. We know that the spectator guesses on all five races. So we could use the term n to represent this as n equals 5. The question is asking us, what is the probability that the spectator chooses the winner in four of the five races? So with the five guesses, he is going to succeed four times. We can use the letter k to represent the number of times he chooses the winner correctly. In this example, k equals 4. We know that the spectator gets one winner incorrect, so we can write this as n minus k equals 1. Now let's look at the probability of success. Each race has four possible winners, and only one is the actual winner. So there is a 1 in 4 chance that the correct winner is picked. So the probability of success is 1 in 4, or 25%. We know that probability of success and the probability of failure must equal 100%. The probability of an incorrect guess must be 75%. The formula for binomial distribution is now on the screen. The formula shows the probability of an event represented by x is equal to the total number of combinations, multiplied by the probability of success with k here representing the total number of successes, multiplied by the probability of failure with n minus k representing the total number of failures. Now let's put into the formula the figures we already know. Probability equals 4, as he guesses 4 winners correctly. For the number of combinations, I will come back to this shortly. The probability of success is 25%, so we put in 0.25. K is 4, as we know that the total success rate is 4. The probability of failure is 75%, so we put in 0.75 n minus k is equal to 1, as he only fails once. Now coming back to the number of combinations, we need to work out all the possible outcomes. This can be done using the formula now on the screen. n factorial divided by k factorial multiplied by n minus k factorial. In this example, the formula would be 5 factorial divided by 4 factorial multiplied by 1 factorial. 5 factorial means 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which equals 120. This is divided by 4 factorial, 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 multiplied by 1, this is 24. So 120 divided by 24 equals 5. So now going back to the original question, we are calculating the probability that the spectator chose the winner of 4 of the 5 races with 4 horses running in each race. So the probability that the spectator got four winners correct is equal to 5 multiplied by 0.25 by the 4 exponent. So essentially 0.25 times 0.25 times 0.25 times 0.25 multiplied by 0.75. This equals to 0, 0.146 or 1.46%. 1 so the probability that the spectator got four of the five race winners correct is 1.46%. So you could say the spectator had a very good day at the races. Thanks for watching. And remember to like the video and subscribe to Revision World TV for more videos. Goodbye.